Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable Madden coins and 2K MT on the market. A link for their website will be right at the top of the description. And do not forget to use code FURTY for 5% off. Get me outside here. Barry, show me that speed. Uh-oh. Warp tackle didn't work. Barry down the sideline. Go, Barry. Go, Barry. Run, Barry. In today's gameplay, we are looking at the brand new 99 Sugar Rush Barry Sanders. So if you have the blue egg with the berries on the bottom, you are going to get this 99 overall Barry Sanders. The card is already a 99. However, in today's gameplay, we do have empowered up on a Lions team, which really doesn't do much, but I guess add plus one acceleration to the card. So we have 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 COD, 99 agility, 99 break tackle, 5'8", 203, 95 carrying with a 99 juke, a 98 spin, and a 93 stiff arm. This card, I think, honestly has potential to be the best running back in the game. And right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, this dude is crazy. He really just said Barry Sanders might be the best running back in the game because of his height and his weight. And usually, especially on next gen, you want the guys who are at least over 6'1 and at least weigh about 225, 230, obviously, and then up from there. But Barry comes with pre-baked tank for 1 AP. And I know people today were very upset that we didn't get a golden ticket. But in my opinion, this is actually better than a golden ticket. Because even if we got a golden ticket Barry Sanders today, tank and leapfrog would have been 3 AP on him. So you save an AP. I know you can't run, I guess, if you want to run like bulldozer or whatever, you can't do that. But um, yeah, I mean, this is better than a golden ticket, in my opinion, for how I would use a running back and how you guys should be using him as well. If you're going to use Barry Sanders... I think this might be the best setup. I think Leapfrog and Tank, this combo is just unstoppable. I ran it for a little bit on Micah Parsons. It was way more expensive on Micah, obviously, but this ability combo right here is just stupidly good. It's stupidly good, and also, he does get all the other elusive back stuff. Does get Joystick if you do want to use that on current gen. On next gen, this ability is simply just not worth it. But yeah, Leapfrog 1 AP, Tank 1 AP. Dude, th this running back, this running back Barry Sanders card is about to be so stupid, so... Yeah, let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what Barry Sanders with Tank can do today. Let's see what he can do, man. All right, here we go. Game number one with 99 Barry Sanders. And while we are um, getting in here to our first snaps with Barry, it's going to be a great time for you guys to head down there and hit that like button. It helps the video get out to a whole lot more people and definitely does help push that algorithm a whole bunch. I really don't get the algorithm, but I know that hitting the like button definitely does help it out a whole lot so hey head down there hit that like button and if you are new here you might as well head down there hit that subscribe button too while you're down there but here we go barry sanders leapfrog and tank and also freight train as well which might go crazy if it does light up this card it should be insane here we go barry sanders first run of the day i'm not even holding the back button right there barry sanders just a quick one rush for nine yards making it look just so so easy and I also do have Robert Hunt as well. Where is he? Um, I added him today. Robert Hunt is special because he gets zero AP post up. I think everyone should have Robert Hunt. Post up just makes you a monster in this game. And there's Tank. Tank actually did light up right there. Unfortunately, someone else did interact with us. But Tank lit up right there on Barry Sanders. Just I feel like having this power on Barry is going to feel weird. But honestly, I, I think he deserves it. I feel like... I feel like Barry was kind of like bouncing off people like that back then. Every single highlight tape I see, I mean, usually no one touched him. But I guess if you can't replicate that in Madden, then, then this is this, this is kind of the second best thing, I guess. But let's go to a little stretch run here. Let's see if we can get it going here. We do have we do have Leapfrog as well. I got to remember that. This is just going to be a super frustrating card to face because no matter how you want to tackle him, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be frustrating, whether it's Leapfrogging, whether it's trying to hit stick me i mean your best chance is obviously the warp tackle which i guess does kill everything but he's trying to strip me oh my barry just broke a tackle through a leapfrog unfortunately we do get tripped up right there but barry just showing so much fight and so much heart right now having identifier also does help out a whole lot in the run game as well step on that oh my goodness barry go go barry okay yo this card this card's gonna be crazy dude this card is gonna be absolutely insane all right, so let's do our emoji of the day. And uh, if you are watching the video right now, currently, let's comment the lion emoji. Let's comment the lion emoji for lion legend Barry Sanders. And also, we have we also have Barry on defense too. Um, yeah, so I mean, dude, Barry Sanders. This might be the if if Barry Sanders. I mean, so far so good from what I've seen in one drive. Yes, small sample size, 
like very small sample size. Oh, Dion got bumped. He didn't, th he didn't throw a TD there. But um, I was also very disappointed that the Dion egg was just a great Iron Guardian Dion. I was very disappointed about that too. I was definitely looking forward to another wide receiver Dion upgrade. But what I was going to say was if this Barry Sanders does, you know, consistently do what he did on that first drive, this might be the best year of Barry Sanders that I can remember. I mean, I didn't play like Madden 13, Mad like Madden 16 really or any of those years, but potentially this could be the best year of Barry Sanders, not only for his running back card, but also because his edge rusher, in my opinion, has been the best in the game ever since he's come out. Like not only on offense, but also on defense, he's been ridiculous this year. Still, I feel like we might beat this. He, he has Dante Fowler out there. I wonder if Team Diamonds dropped in or Team Champions dropped in price today. I wonder. I actually don't know. I wanted to check on that. Oh, he did, he had a good warp right there. And oh my, Juke Barry. Oh, I sh why am I even juking with Barry Sanders? Why am I even juking? Unless you have Juke Box, if you're running this setup, there's really no reason to juke. I mean, the skip Juke's decent, but like Leapfrog probably better, honestly. He blitzing. He might be Barry's open. Give me a tough ball. I don't know why I threw that. That was a, that was bad. That was actually bad. That's is he celebrating? Is he celebrating? Are you are you serious? He wants the wheel, I think. That's my ball. Yeah, we're celebrating back. You know it. You know we're celebrating. I'm gonna go down though, because I want to run the ball more. His box right now is a little bit stacked though. Oh, he dropped him back in coverage first move. Oh, dude, the warp tackle, man. Dude, the warp tackle, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, that thing is crazy good, bro. The warp tackle is just ridiculous. Oh, he already gets the wrong way. I gotta like, dude, I can't I can't get away from it, man. I think I just gotta try jumping over it, maybe. I don't know what I gotta do. Turtle, there we go. Won't fumble. Barry Sanders, 12 for 100. We were we were on good pace. It's kind of slowed down. He's usering Ted. Wants the warp. Dude, I, dude, the warp tackle is actually OD. The, dude, I'm gonna keep saying it, bro. Like, if this is in 23, man, I'm not know, I'm not gonna know what I'm gonna do facing the warp tackle the whole year again next year, man. It is just a brutal thing. It's brutal, dude. Get me outside, pick him up at a boy, first down. It's kind of funny. But, okay, find a hole. Ooh, we, need, we almost found that hole. We get warped again, but we almost found that hole. We were so close. Oh, no, we got a first down still. All right, too high. He's on Ted. He should drop back Taylor. Oh, we got pancakes, boys. We literally got, we literally got pancakes. I, probably, I didn't even need the dirtle. I could have just walked in. I don't even know why I just dirtled right there. I'm going to call timeout. Yeah, I don't know why I just dirtled. That was a free TD. That was literally free. I'm sure everyone's coming, but we got pancakes again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, how's he getting weak boxed? How's he getting weak boxed right now? Would be surprised if he does run the ball here again. He might go with a quick read. We're going to run him over. We have a contain out there. You can't run my... Oh, maybe something will let... Oh, my... Wow, he might quit. Dude, Night Train lane. That was a bad pass lead, to be fair, but... Night Train, man. I also did see that Westry has pre-baked Acrobat. If Acrobat's 1 AP on Westry, man... Oh, boy. It, it, I mean, it has to be 1 AP. It has to be. It wouldn't be pre-baked and be 2 AP. Like, Westry 1 AP, Acrobat, kind of a W. I think powering up Westry is a like could be a big move. Get me outside here, Barry. Show me that speed. Uh oh, warp tackle didn't work. Barry down the sideline. Go Barry. Go Barry. Run Barry. We got we're, we're, we gotta do for a broken tackle. Oh no, my! Oh my goodness, Barry Sanders, 93 yards to the crib, and he's gone. That is gonna do it for the Barry Sanders gameplay. I did not think he was gonna break that second tackle. But wow is all I have to say. Barry Sanders just probably put on the best running back gameplay of the year for us. In one game, he did all that, by the way. One game. All right, so that is going to do it for the Barry Sanders gameplay. And I do think that right now, Barry is number one. I think if you have a Lions team, even if you don't have a Lions team, I think Barry is the best. Use that tank. If you don't want to use Leapfrog, you can use, like, I maybe Spin Cycle. Maybe you want to use a Jukebox. Whatever abilities you like, go for it. But I think Leapfrog tanks the best combo on him. That's me personally. Like, you guys saw what, what this card can do. You can journal past someone. They try to hit stick you. Oh, wait, tanks lit up, and now you're breaking a tackle, and Barry has that insane speed where he can just finish those big runs. So I think Barry is number one right now. I really do. And for about 330K, which is his price right now on Sunday, I think he's definitely worth it. I do think his price might go up a little bit, but probably not that much. Maybe like 400K, maybe like 420. Maybe like 100K, he does go up maybe next week. But... Yeah, 330k for this card, ridiculous, and I, I can't recommend this card any more than I already have. I mean, the gameplay did its justice, the stats are crazy, the ability is even crazier, so yeah, that is going to do it. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications, and as always, I will see you boys in the next one.